Hi everyone, this is Bhone Suri Tevaraj, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics, ASA College of Arts and Science for Roman Tirchangol. In this video, we will discuss about a linear transformation in modern algebra 2. Uh, linear transformations is also said to be a linear mapping. This video, we will discuss about introduction, the kernel and range of linear transformation and matrices for linear transformation. First one introduction. The function t that maps a vector space v into a vector space w. Here v is said to be a domain and w is said to be a codomain. Now applying tran uh, trans mapping t from vector space v into w is defined by t is mapping from v to another vector space w. Next the images of v under t. Uh, if uh, small v which is belongs to the vector space b and small w which is belongs to the vector space w such that t of v is equal to w then w is called a images of v under t. Next the range of t. The set of all images of vector space uh, vectors in a vector space v is said to be a ranges of t. Next one the pre images of w. The set of all V in uh, capital V such that T of V is equal to W is said to be a pre-images of W. Now see the example for T is mapping from R square to R square. Here V which is belongs to R square and V contains the elements V1, V2. Now define the condition T of V1, V2 which is equal to V1 minus V2, V1 plus 2V2. Now find the two conditions images of V and pre-images of W. Solution First, take the values t is equal to minus 1 comma 2. Here, um, v1 is equal to minus 1 and v2 is equal to 2. Applying these two values in t of v1 comma v2, we get minus 3 comma plus 3. So, minus 3 comma plus 3 is the images of v equal to minus 1 comma 2. Two. Now find pre-images of W. We know the condition T of V is equal to W. And um, now <coughs> equating T of V1 comma V2 which is equal to V1 minus V2 comma V1 plus 2 V2. Now equating these values uh, to W we get two equations namely V1 minus V2 is equal to minus 1 V1 plus 2 V2 which is equal to 11. Solving these two equations we get V1 is equal to uh, 3 and V2 is equal to 4. So 3 comma 4 is the pre-images of W. Now definition of linear transformation. Here V and W are the vector spaces and uh, up Applying the mapping uh, linear transformation T is mapping from the vector space V into the vector space W. Then T is said to be a linear transformation if it is satisfies two conditions. First one T of U plus V which is equal to T of U plus T of V. Second one T of C into U which is equal to C into T U. Here U and V are said to be a vectors which is belongs to the domain V and C is said to be a scalar which is belongs to the real number R and U is belongs to the vector space U. These two conditions are uh, satisfied then the transformation T is said to be a linear transformation. Next to note in linear transformation in first condition T of u plus v is equal to T of u plus T of v. In left side, u plus v is the addition in domain v and right side these terms are addition in codomain w At this, uh, and also same the scalar multiplication. In the left side is the scalar multiplication in domain v and uh, right side is the scalar multiplication in codomain w. Next, the linear operator. Linear operator means a yeah, linear transformation T from the vector space V into the uh, vector space V from a vector space into itself is called a linear operator. It means domain and codomains are same and it's mapping itself also, itself. Now, uh, example for linear transformation T from R square to R square. We know that the mapping from T R square to R square. Then we defined T of V1 comma V2 which is equal to V1 minus V2 V1 plus 2 V2. 
we take any two non zero uh, vectors namely uv uh, which is belongs to the domain r square and c is any real number here u contain two elements namely u1 and u2 v contains uh, same two elements namely v1 and v2 now we add these two non zero ve vectors we get uh, u plus v which is equal to u1 plus v1 uh, and u2 plus uh, v2 now we show that t is satisfies the vector addition now applying the transformation t we get t into u1 plus v1 comma u2 plus v2 solving this uh, condition we get uh, t of u plus v which is equal to t of u plus t of v this is the condition uh, for um, linear transformation next we uh, solve scalar multiplication we know that scalar means here c so multiply c to r so c to u we get c into u1 comma c into u2 now applying linear transformation t we get t into c of u which is equal to c into tu here t is satisfied vector addition and scalar multiplication then the linear transformation t mapping from r square to r square is a linear transformation next zero transformation so zero transformation means t of v equal to zero here v is belongs to the vector space v and the next one is identity transformation identity transformation means we uh, uh, we mapping from t mapping from v to uh, the vector space v then defined t of v equal to v is said to be identity transformation next the properties of linear transformation so consider the mapping t is mapping from the vector space v to other vector space w then first condition t of 0 is equal to 0 second one t of minus of v which is equal to minus into t of v third t of u minus v which is equal to t of u minus t of v four to one consider the linear combinations namely c1 v1 plus c2 v2 up to etc plus cn vn which is equal to v then applying the transformation t we get c1 t v1 plus c2 t v2 up to etc plus cn t vn these four conditions for properties of linear transformation next example for linear transformation and basis now consider the three dimensional space r cube to r cube which mapping from t we get uh, given that the three conditions t of 1 comma 0 t of 0 comma 1 comma 0 and t of 0 comma 0 comma 1 we have find the values of t of 2 comma 3 comma minus 2 so see that now take uh, this value 2 3 minus 2 which is equal to 2 into 1 0 0 plus 3 into 0 1 0 minus 2 into 0 0 1 now applying the transformation t we get t of 2 comma 3 comma minus 2 which is equal to 7 comma 7 comma 0 then t is a linear transformation next the linear transformation from the matrix m into the matrix m here domain matrix contained m cross n elements and uh, codomain matrix contains n cross m elements the condition is t of a equal to a transport now we saw that t is linear transformation or not let's see uh, in matrix m uh, take any of two elements a b then add these two elements a b we get a plus b now applying transformation t we get uh, a plus b whole transport a plus b whole transport which is equal to a transport plus b transport we know the condition t of a equal to a transport then a transport is equal to t of a and b transport which is equal to t of b next scalar multiplication uh, and applying transformation t we get c a transport here a transport is equal to t of a then these two condition is satisfied t is a linear transformation from a matrix m into the another matrix m now the kernel we know that the kernel of a linear map is also known as null space here the null space is the linear subspace of the domain of the map which is mapped into the zero vector in group the kernel is the set of all elements in group g which map into the identity element of uh, subspaces so kernel means the function is the set of all that uh, points and the functions into zero 
so here the kernel of transformation is my set of all vectors v such that t of v which is equal to 0 for all vectors v which is belongs to the domain v next uh, example for uh, kernel of linear transformation the condition is t of a equal to a transport we saw that t is kernel or not we know that kernel means all the um, uh, set of functions that uh, send to 0 so Mm, kernel of t we, we get zero mat zero matrix uh, theorem for kernel of a subspaces of vector space v see that the kernel of a linear transformation t from vector space v into w is a subspaces of a domain v we prove this we know the condition t of g zero is equal to zero which is a property of uh, linear transformation and we know that the kernel of t is a non-empty subset of v we saw that the kernel of linear transformation is a subspaces of the domain so consider any two non-zero elements u v which is belongs to the vectors um, in uh, v and uh, uh, <coughs> now adding these two vectors u plus v and applying the mapping t which is equal to t u plus t v here t u equal to 0 and t v is equal to 0 because t is the kernel so uh, u plus v which is belongs to the kernel of t now scalar multiplication c u which is equal to c into t of u we know that t of u which is equal to 0 then c into 0 which is equal to 0 then c u is belongs to the kernel of t then addition and the scalar multiplications are belongs to the kernel of t then um, kernel of t is a subspaces of v now here the note for kernel so kernel is sometimes called as null space null space means uh, empty set next here note uh, t is mapping from the vector space v into the vector space w then t is said to be a linear transformation if two conditions first one kernel of t is a subspace of, of domain v and uh, range of t is a subspaces of codomain w here the um, images for uh, kernel and range next uh, kern, uh, rank of the linear transformation so define a mapping t is mapping from the vector space v into the vector space w then the rank of t is the dimension of range of t and nullity of t means the dimension of kernel of t and uh, here t mapping from r power n to r power n be the linear transformation given that the condition is t of x is equal to a x then the rank of t is equal to rank of a and the nullity of t is the nullity of a next we have to find the uh, uh, rank and nullity in 3 by 3 matrix given uh, the matrix a is 1 0 minus 2 and 0 1 1 and 0 0 0 now find rank and nullity the rank of t which is equal to rank of a the rank of a is 2 because in matrix a we see the uh, uh, two rows are non-zero elements uh, contain non-zero elements so rank of a is 2 now we have to find nullity so nullity condition is know that dimension of t minus rank of t the dimension of matrix a is 3 by 3 matrix so dimension of t is 3 minus rank of t is also in the above condition we get 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 Find, uh, next one is definition of on to so on to means uh, when uh, each elements in the range is the image of uh, exactly one elements in codomain so here the function t from the vector space v into w is called one to one if the pre images of every v in range uh, consist of the single uh, vector t is one to one if only if for all u and v which is belongs to the vector space v then t of u is equal to t of v implies that u equal to v alternatively t of u not equal to t of v then um, u is not equal to v this is the condition for one to one and on to on to means the range set and uh, codomain set are equal then it is said to be a on to here the a function t is mapping from v to w is said to be on to if every elements in w has a pre images of v we know that t is on to uh, w when w is equal to the range range set of t next one uh, the inverse linear transformation we consider 
two uh, linear transformation mapping T1 and T2. Now uh, consider the um, now consider Tf2 into T1 into V, which is equal to the vector space V in R power n, and T1 uh, into T2 of V, which is equal to V. This uh, T1 and T2 are linear transformation. Then T2 is called the inverse of T1, and T1 is said to be the invertible. Note. Um, if the transformation T is invertible, then the inverse is unique and it is denoted by T inverse. Thank you. We will see the next video.